On the 13th of January, 2022, Ethan Ralph tweeted out that he had met a guy that owns a bowling alley in Dallas, Texas, and Ethan had a great idea to hold a bowling event there. Come to the Killstream Kingpin Invitational Bowling Event, taking place at Lakes Lanes Bowling Alley, Dallas, Texas, where for the low, low price of $65, you'll get to hang out with your favorite internet personalities with names like Ethan Ralph, Dick Masterson, Alex Stein, Harrison Smith, Pat Dixon, Ramsey, Paul Destiny, Royce Mersch, and many more. There's going to be a wedding between the host of the event, Ethan Ralph and Pansy Party, stand-up comedy, a debate on globalism versus nationalism, bowling, a final panel with the e-celebs, and who knows, maybe even strippers. So get online to thekillstream.live and get yourself a ticket now. So April 2nd rolls around and about 50 people turn up to the event, even though the host of the event, Ethan Ralph, has been claiming there had been over 100 in attendance. Thank you. Much more than, much more than 25 people, I'd have to say, closer to 100 or more. The afterthought wedding Ethan Ralph had planned to have to his pregnant fiance was cancelled due to his second child being born, and some of the advertised guests haven't even turned up. These include Pei, who seems to have been at home during the time and hasn't mentioned the event, Lauren Witzke, who also hasn't made any comments about the event, and Patrick Howley, who retweeted Ethan Ralph on April 3rd after the event, but it doesn't look like he turned up to the bowling alley. And Corinne? Corinne still doesn't even know the event happened. Though Mersh almost made this mistake too. Nightwavetalk at gmail.com. If you're in the area of Dallas, the weekend of, I believe, April 22nd. Oh no, it's April 2nd. Oh Jesus, that's coming up. I thought that was going to be like, I, th I thought that was going to be, I thought that was the end of the month, not the beginning of the month. Wow, I got to make arrangements for this fucking stupid cat. So anyway, the event starts and the show is late for unknown reasons. I originally had a long diatribe plan where I shit on all my enemies, but I'll have to just cut that out since we... We ran a little late to start the show. It's okay. In starting the debate, Destiny, one of the panelists, is vocal about how shit the setup is. <laughs> it's fucking microphones. <laughs> it's okay. Just Why are they two different microphones, though? Because one is for the internet and one is for the... Yeah, outside. but shouldn't it at least be the same type? Well, fuck, I had to use their mics mixed with my mics. No, it's fine. Right. They should be I'm ready. I'm hyped for this. Okay. All right, good. Okay. Ethan Ralph, the host of the event, constantly has to tell the audience to be quiet for the debate. Quickly, leads us down good roads. What? Please shut the fuck up out in the audience. Well, I told the crowd to shut the fuck up, but they won't shut the fuck up. So what do you want me to do, Jagged? Throughout the debate, there are constant audio issues, and for the live stream of the event, there are also problems with the visual feed. That's not democracy. You don't let... Uh, God damn it, Ralph. I was telling them to turn it up so they could hear you better. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I'll take these apart. Talk into that for a minute, though. <laughs> All right. Are you giving him three? We're just gonna get more and more mics. Uh, I'm and we're gonna... three. Three. I'm also hold that one time. Right? <laughs> <laughs> fucking shit. Of course, the mic had to fucking die. Whatever. I don't got Twitter right now. That's just my your friend. friend is not at, your friend hasn't been dead yet. That's right. Ethan Ralph, the host and moderator for the debate, had to be called out by Destiny, one of the panelists, for being more interested in his phone than what was going on at his own event. Um, I, I think that it's a, it's an exciting thing. Is there something more exciting going on? No, we had to throw, a, we had to throw some bitch out earlier. I was getting some info on that. I'm just fucking with you. I'm sorry. Good. Yeah, I know, no, I, I just, know. I just. Which leads me to paying people from the audience who also got thrown out before and during the debate. Do you want some? You want to share it with me? Do you want some? You want to there you go. Do you want some? Not really. Okay. I Give the mic up to somebody you. else. No, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that's funny, bitch? Move on. Move on. Fuck ass, bitch. Get out of here, bitch. Okay. Take that shit out of here. Yeah. Thank you. Th hey, hey, hey. Throw him out. Okay. We had to send another motherfucker home tonight, Destiny. That, it's okay, brother. Is that only two? That's only two so far. <laughs> okay, now let me... 
Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Which one? This is a transgender conversation. I don't know. Get the fuck out of the stage where you get thrown out of here. Hey, throw this guy out. Throw him out. Throw him out. Throw him out. Motherfucker. And then Destiny and Harrison Smith, the two panelists having the debate, express their own boredom with the topic being discussed. This is a lot more awkward in person for these kind of topics. It's a little different, I have to say. Yeah, it really, it really is. There's a no, it's not awkward in person. It's just the most boring fucking topic in the world, but we'll do it. We'll engage. Okay, no, no, I want to go. I want to do this one. 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 No, let's change it. Yeah, I mean, I'm just. I heard you bitching about it on the stream. No, no, no. It's so boring. It's going to be so boring. Oh, and why didn't you change it then? You brought me here to fucking. You know what? Why didn't you say it to me? Like, what the fuck? You're on your show crying about it. Because I don't know where you are half the fucking time. I got to check Kiwi Farms to see what the fuck is going on in your life. I don't know what the fuck you're at. You can just send me an email, motherfucker. Like, goddamn. Anyway. Last time I emailed you, you passed it off to my fucking debate partners. It got me canceled. Oh, yeah, you're still <laughs> mad about that because Molyneux didn't fucking show? Oh, my God. Don't get me started. Okay, right. anyway, supranational structures. Oh, yes. Back to the uh, back to the exciting conversation. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, well, yeah, this is boring. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Okay, you I know don't. What? No, no, no. no. Somebody said just change it to a tranny debate, which I mean, uh, <laughs> can we just do that mid show? Like, I mean, I don't really, you know, whatever. So that was the debate. And at this point, the cops had been called about a bomb threat in the building, so the police had to do a quick walkthrough and left shortly after. There was a bomb threat called in. The police are about to do a walkthrough. It's all good. It's all good. We knew this would happen. We knew this would happen. But, uh, there's a bomb threat, so they're gonna do a little walkthrough. Apparently there's 50 cops outside who've been swatted tonight. Apparently. I haven't gone outside, but that's what I've heard. That's apparently real, yeah. Hey, Jay. Next on the schedule is the live stand-up from Alex Stein and Cassidy Campbell, which had supporting acts from a guy wearing a tiger striped jacket that sang a song. But please, just don't act surprised. <laughs> All right, starting that verse over. But please, just don't act surprised. Alex Stein and Cassidy Campbell then did their own stand-up cringe comedy, which also had music. The fact that there's not even a Ukrainian flag in here is disgusting. Yeah, why is there no Ukrainian flags in here? What kind is this? Literally Auschwitz? What is this place? It's hell on earth. We need a freaking Ukrainian flag. These are the same people that refuse to obey the science and get fully vaccinated. Yeah, I don't see anybody checking vaccine cards. Where are the vaccine card checkers? It's science. Trust me, I spared you by skipping the majority of that. At the end of their cringe stand-up, Mersh pops in to say that Dick Masterson has left after injuring his arm. We got him in, Mersh, what do you got for us? Come on. Uh, Dick, Dick Masterson's arm hurts, so he left, so. Yeah, sorry about that. Then the Pat Dixon stand-up starts, and my God, is it bad. You know, when Ralph first asked me about coming down here to do stand-up, at the Kingpin Bowling Invitational. I said, uh, sounds good. Is it in a strip mall? He said, yeah. I said, okay. Is there a place with Avro Fusion cuisine nearby? And there is. It's right up there. I said, fuck it, I'm in. All right, we're off to a killer fucking start. He gets to the point where he has to explain the jokes he's making are funny. I don't ever use the N-word. I don't even use the I word, Igerne. Well, I mean, I, all I can do is serve him up, you know what I mean? And then runs out of jokes and has to scroll through his phone for more jokes. But I will say Chris Rock is the only comic that sounds like he works normally at the Flintstones. If I'd have said that as Mitch Hedberg, they'd carry me off on their fucking shoulders right now. Black History Month, did that, okay. Did that Ukraine bullshit, Ralph. hated that. Ralph. Did that. 
did this. Anyway, I'll spare you that torture too. After Pat Dixon's set, the host Ethan Ralph gets angry at another paying guest, and while throwing this guest out, Ethan gets hit in the face. Hey man, could you get the fuck away from the camera? Because you knocked the camera. Hey, hey, don't stand anywhere over here. Hey, throw it. Are you talking to me? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Fuck, throw this faggot out. Get him out of here right fucking now. Get out, bitch. Fuck you, Raven Ralph. Fuck you, bitch. Get out of here, motherfucker. Get out before you get hurt. Fuck you, Raven Ralph. Arrest him! Arrest him! Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you, bitch! Oh, this guy's on the ground right now. He's banging. I'm going for it. He's banging. I'll throw the shit on his face. Now, after this, it's speculated that Ethan Ralph stomped on that guest's head just around the corner and outside of the static camera's view. This is speculated because of the next few clips, like Ethan Ralph claiming this happened. Guess what, bitch? I don't scare. And that motherfucker just got his ass whooped right around the corner. Fuck you, bitch. Let's go. This is the type of event I wanted. I wanted him to come take a fucking shot at me, bitch. Where are you at? Hurting on the ground, motherfucker. Yeah. Chagat, one of Ethan Ralph's supporters who got footage of the confrontation, having one minute and four seconds worth of footage. Literally so weak. Oh, dude, you had your camera out. Holy shit. And after this, claiming he got the part where the host Ethan Ralph stomped the paying guest. I got, him, I got you stomping him and sustained shit. No, I didn't know. Uh, oh, no, I'm just kidding. The, the, the security guards, I mean. The, yeah. Yeah. Hey, the pain guest who got stomped claiming this is what the host Ethan Ralph did. So you're confirming, you're, I mean, you he swear. He did stomp me in the back of the head. You swear on a yeah. stack of holy scripture. 1,000, yeah. Get, get a Bible, get a Quran, get a fucking, uh, the Mormon Bible, whatever the fuck. Yeah, get an L. Ron Hubbard uh, tome, whatever the fuck. He did stomp me in the back of the head. And Ethan Ralph during his aftermath show, making jokes about how the rest of the footage had magically disappeared. Great super chatter sent $3. There was somebody who got perfect footage of the altercation on his or her telegram. Yeah, well, Chagat had a little extra footage too, but somehow that got lost in, in uh, translation. I think his hard drive ate it or something. I'm not oh, sure. No, oh, terrible. no. That's terrible. I'm not sure what happened. Chagat has some great footage and then... Must uh, be a virtual dog mm, on his hard drive or yeah, something. Yeah, something happened there. I don't know. I don't know what went down, but uh, I guess that, that, that footage is uh, lost to time. Just like mm. that, you gotta let it go. Now at this point in the evening, if you were watching the stream, you'd be subjected to a good hour or so of staring at this scene. Regardless, it's time for the bowling event and there's still a Killstream team, which is basically Ethan Ralph's team. There's no Dick Masterson team, as he's left with an injured arm. There is no Revenge of the Sis team, as Royce and Mersh had just disappeared by this point. So basically it was whoever wants to be part of the bowling tournament, not that it was an actual tournament. And yes, ignoring all of that reality, Ethan Rouse still won the bowling trophy at his own event. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Oh, man! Oh, wow! Yeah! 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 It's been a pleasure, but we're not done yet! Because Shaggy's about to get maced! Now at this point, there should have been a final panel, but every one of Ralph's VIP guests, excluding Pat Dixon, had left the event. So, the finale was to Mace Chaggart for People's Entertainment. Now I'm gonna show you the entire footage, but I thought I'd show you why I found this part of the event to be particularly hilarious. Imagine for a second, you are Chaggart. You're about to be maced at Ethan Ralph's event for clout. You've been asking people to get you to 600 subscribers on Telegram all evening. Everyone who follows me on Telegram, you message me your Cash App, Venmo, or PayPal. 
After following me, I will send you one dollar. And although you didn't reach your goal, you are still going to allow Ethan Ralph the Rage Pig to mace you in the face. Oh boy, I can't wait to get some subscribers from this. My t-shirt says my Telegram handle. I'm going to repeat, follow at Real Chaggart so people know to follow my handle on Telegram. This plan is foolproof. Once people see the level of content I produce, I'm sure to gain more subscribers. Telegram at Real Chaggart. Okay, Real here we go. Oh my God, I can't breathe. Oh my God, I'm in pain. Oh wow, people are chatting my name. Oh my God, I'm being noticed. Man, this stings my eyes and I'm struggling to breathe, but it'll all be worth it in the end. <sighs> Only 20 more seconds to go. Oh boy, I'm gonna have so many followers after this. It's gonna be epic. Oh, this really hurts my eyes. Damn, this stings. I just need to enjoy this pain for a little bit longer. And yes, milk. Pure soothing milk. Now, where's my neutralizing spray? I can't wait to claim this as real Chaggart content. I mean, I will the moment I can breathe correctly. Come on, brain. Make my mouth say telegram at real Chaggart. Come on, mouth. Telegram at real Chaggart. I need to claim this content. Telegram at real Chaggart. Finally, I said it. Another all time banger from the kill stream. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Are you fucking kidding me, Ralph? This has been the Killstream Kingpin Invitational. Hey, get the I'll to see y'all back please. here next year. Get Follow Shaggin on Telegram for fuck's sake. Yeah. Oh, and if you thought this year was good, you're going to want to get tickets for next year. Thank you, guys. Killstream Kingpin Invitational. One of a kind, for sure. It's been a pleasure. We'll do it again next year. Yeah. And I'm the champ. Woo. My team won. I get the trophy. We're going to do these every year, by the way. Guaranteed. Another all-time banger from the kill stream. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.